So the topic of this presentation is the nitrogen cycle, and it's a little bit complex. So let's go ahead and get started. So we think about, well, you know, why do we even need nitrogen for our cells? Well, first, here's a molecule of DNA. You might remember the building blocks of DNA are called nucleotides. And if we look at the, uh, the nucleotides a little more closely, one of the parts are called the nitrogen bases. You might remember these are abbreviated A, T, C, and G, and then U for uracil for RNA. But nitrogen bases have, have nitrogen in them. So without nitrogen, we can't build our DNA. Another reason is you think about amino acids. Remember, amino acids are the building blocks of proteins. Well, when we look at the amino acid more closely, one part of the amino acid is called the amino group, and there's nitrogen in the amino group. So nitrogen is needed to build amino acids, which then in turn build proteins. Well, you know, it's a pretty good thing that the Earth's atmosphere is about 78% nitrogen. That means we can just breathe in the, uh, the, the atmosphere and we get our, our nitrogen needs. Well, unfortunately, it's not that simple. There's a problem. The nitrogen in the atmosphere is mostly unusable to life. And if we look at the, the reason, the formula for atmospheric nitrogen is N2. Two nitrogen atoms bonded by a triple bond. And so this triple bond is very strong and stable. And so when we uh, inhale um, air, we, we're taking in nitrogen, but our cells are not able to typically use this nitrogen. And so it has to be converted into another form, first of all. And let's talk about how this conversion happens. First of all, if we look at this diagram here, there are seven areas of this diagram we're gonna discuss. In area one, this is where the conversion of nitrogen from the atmosphere begins, a process known as nitrogen fixation. In this process, bacteria that are in the soil will take in atmospheric nitrogen, N2, and through a chemical reaction will uh, will produce what's called ammonium, NH4. So the nitrogen is changing forms, and if you follow the arrows, the ammonium, the NH4, begins to build up in the soil. And then we can follow into area two. There are other soil bacteria that will take in the ammonium, and through a process called nitrification, they'll take in the ammonium, the NH4, and they'll produce nitrates as a waste, NO3. And so notice how the nitrogen, the nitrates are accumulating just outside of area number two. And so then there are other bacteria in the soil that will take these NO3 nitrates. And through a process called denitrification, they'll take in the NO3 nitrates and through denitrification will release nitrogen back into the atmosphere uh, to really complete a cycle involving just soil bacteria. So if you notice, we've already, we already have a cycle involving uh, bacteria. Now, there's also an inner cycle in my diagram, area four, five, and six. So in area four, notice how there's still NO3s. You can see in uh, the animation, the NO3 comes from area number two. Those are the NO3s of the nitrates. And so the nitrates, there's a fork in the road. Some of the NO3 nitrates go into the denitrification that we just talked about, and others go into area four. And through the process of assimilation, the NO3 nitrates are taken up through the roots of plants, and now it enters the food chain. And so nitrogen now simply moves up the food chain. The producers can absorb the nitrogen through the roots, and then up and up and up the food chain it will go. And so in area five, we can see the, NO, uh, the nitrates simply moving up the food chain. Again, the rabbit eats the plants and, you know, birds come along, hawks come along and eat the rabbit and such. And the nitrogen simply moves up the food chain. But then in area six, we have our decomposers, our fungus and, um, uh, and such. And through another process called ammonification, they'll take in nitrogen from you know, animal droppings, nitrogen from dead and decaying leaves, nitrogen from dead organisms. And they'll feed on these dead remains and through the process of ammonification will release NH4 ammonium back into the, uh, into the soil. So notice there's an outer cycle in this animation and there's an inner cycle in the animation. So here's our inner cycle, and we've already highlighted the outer cycle earlier. 
Now in area seven, there's a storm cloud with lightning striking. And so what we're gonna show you is another way for NO3 nitrates to form. Nitrogen, N2 in the sky, and oxygen in the sky, through the energy of lightning, will be broken down and rearranged into NO3 nitrates. And when it rains, the NO3 nitrates fall to the ground and falls and mixes in with the nitrates produced in area number two. So these nitrates from uh, lightning mix with the other nitrates from area number two. And again, this is just another way that nitrogen can get into the soil that it can then be used by other forms of life. And so there you go. I know it's pretty complex. There's a lot of words that end in Asian right there. And, and part of the complexity is to, is to keep each one straight from the other. If you're in my biology class, try this little quiz right here, and I'm happy to check your answers before class or after class one day. Thanks for watching.